you guys. So we are here at the Marietta City uh, Cemetery as well as the Confederate Cemetery. Uh, I came here before, but it was actually locked up. So I'm actually very glad and fortunate that I was able to come here today uh, to bring you guys this great content. The first statue that we have came across uh, is actually of Mary Ann. Uh, and she is actually considered lady in black. Um, if you are out here at night, um, there's actually been people that have actually seen the lady in black um, figure walking around the cemetery. Um, so that's really interesting. I, I really enjoy knowing that kind of information. Um, I hope that you guys have been liking the videos that I've been posting and and I appreciate all the comments and, and all the views and the likes. Um, and I just hope that you guys continue subscribing to my channel so I can continue bringing you guys the content that you guys enjoy. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and explore the cemetery. Then we'll walk over here to the Confederate Cemetery uh, and get us some great views on that part as well. And always have fun when you're out exploring. And I love you guys. Baby. Ba huh? <clears throat> baby that's the um lady in black that they were talking about uh she was she died in um a while back um she was always dressed in like black clothing that's why she was always named um the lady in black because she was always wearing um stuff like that I don't know what she died from though, because it doesn't really say, it just gives you the date that she died, you know? Oh. It doesn't tell you specifically how she died. Daddy. What, baby? I just want to pee. Okay. I got to pee, I peed so fast. Ken, Ken, stop baby, I'm trying to film. Okay. What's? They were both musicians. Oh. They were both musicians, and she had just persisted her frame. She would come to her sister's grave and work for like 48 years. And she was always dressed in black, and she would never take her clothes off because she was always upset. Like, like, yeah. Kind of like black clothing for like the funeral and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I see you, baby. There's a lot of them. Mm-hmm. There's one. There's some at my school. Uh, my school some. There's some. some there's some at my school. This is why I hate a fire. Oh, 
Hold on, baby. I'm trying to read this stuff. Keep an eye on your dog so it doesn't go in the in the road. guys so it looks like I'm making my way to the confederate side of the cemetery so that's actually pretty interesting um because this is actually one of the spots uh, that I was trying to get in here and do uh, on my trip out here at one point um reviewing the uh, civil war history here in the town of Marietta. Um, but the last time I was out here, it was actually locked up. Um, so I'm so glad and so thankful that they've actually have it unlocked today. So I'm able to get in here and bring you guys this content uh, and see what's going on. Um, but as you can see, straight ahead um, is some of the burials of the Confederate soldiers. And they have actually put out Christmas wreaths for them uh, for the Christmas spirit or Christmas holiday uh, so that's that's really nice uh, you know that we still show them respect um, uh, you know show them respect of of you know their sacrifice and just let them know how much we are appreciated of them and and what they gave um, you know at the end which was the ultimate price and that's their own their life to get to give us freedoms um, to be able to do things and be out filming and um, and exploring and and stuff like that so that's pretty interesting stuff as you can see there's like different um, individual graves uh, right here uh, there's actually one right here that died on December 24th, 1931. Um, so, got a birthday coming up very soon. Um, over here is the uh, Tennessee Heroes, um, which is uh, 325 heroes of the uh, Tennessee Brigade. So, that is actually pretty cool. Um, I enjoy seeing this each and every day uh it's it's just remarkable um the history um of the confederacy uh in the union it's it's always just fun and, and filled with excitement to be able to uh see this kind of information um but with that being said i just hope that you guys continue enjoying these videos and these contents as I bring it to you guys.
here's all the graves of the Confederate soldiers. And as you can see, there's a reef that was fell down. There's another one right here. That's crazy. 3,000 soldiers. That's a lot of like Confederates that was buried here. Three thousand. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, Ginger, just walk around, okay? Yeah, it's a decoration. Guys, move, please. Come on, you guys. You gotta, you gotta, you guys gotta be a little respectful, okay? Ken Ken, come here, baby. Hey. You got my state over here. What? Hold on, baby. I see it. Hold on, baby. Who's this guy? Here, grab my K2 meter out. Oh, you want to talk to this guy? Mm. Yeah. Can I see the phone? I'm going to try to use a voice recorder. I need Ginger to stop talking. 
Ginger. Phone's going off? Yeah. How? I don't know. Because it's hunting. Hold on, hold on. Start talking. Here, hold the camera. I think it's recording. The phone just starts going off on its own. Okay, you guys, so we're here at the uh, veteran. Cemetery here in Marietta. Um, so we are going to do a investigation here because um, my wife's saying that the phone is acting up for reading. As you guys can see, I am kind of getting a little bit on the K2. So here we are. I got the K2 sitting right there. I want to do a re audio recording. Here, babe, show them the audio recording. Yeah. So this is the audio recording that I'm going to use to speak to uh, anything that may be here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and begin. Hey, if there's any spirits here, my name is Chris Reed. And I am here to give my condolences to you and all the men that died in the Civil War. Um, can you give me a sign that you're here? Can you communicate through this voice recorder? Um, I can pick up anything that you are wanting to say. If you can, please give me a sign. Um, make something fall over. Make a little knock. Anything at all just so I can know that you're there. All right, let's play it back. I'm not playing. Look. Look at this thing right now. Hurry. Hurry. I was telling you this thing was going up to yellow. This thing went all the way up to that thing right there. That is no lie. Can I see it? Can I hold it please? He seems to like to interact with me. Sorry. Go ahead. So we are getting a reading on the K2 right here next to George W. Mann, who was a private in the war. He was actually killed in New Hope. If you guys, if you guys go on my channel, you guys can actually see that video of me. Um, so New Hope cool. was the battle that occurred down in Dallas, Georgia. Um, so if you guys ever want to see that video, go check it out on my channel. But as you guys can see, it is talk flickering, to him, talk to him, talk to him. Uh, flickering a little bit. George, I want to, I want to communicate with you. Are you here with me? Give me a sign on this K2. Oh, okay. So you are here with me. So, 
Are you ready for the holiday? Yeah? What was the battle like? What was the battle like? Down at New Hope. Did you lost did you lose a lot of friends? For yes, give me a yellow. So you were, you did lose some friends in combat. Were you an old man? Were you a young man when you died? Were you, were you old or young when you died? If you're an older man, or if you are an older man that was... He's an older man. Yep. I can see that. Were you married? Did you have children? Two things are looking... He's got two orange and yellow. Did you have children? He's flickering it really much. Yes, he had children. Three of them are flicking is your life? Is your wife still alive today? Or is she buried somewhere else? Well, well, he's getting mad about that question. Why is he getting mad? I don't know. That thing just went to red. That means he's getting mad. Yeah, something's really mad? that or something's really it's strong out here. It's going crazy. And it's right here. He's probably mad because what you said to that soldier back there. Are you mad because what he said to that soldier back there? Oh, okay. So you were was you so you were 24 when you died? Oh, okay. You were 24 years old. Yes, he was 24. Oh, wow. You were a young man. How was the battle at New Hope? That's mine. Was it a Confederate That's victory? That's mine. Was it a conf No. Did you lose a lot of friends? That's yes. Solid. Why Solid. Is that thing going off so much like that? Baby? I don't know. That's really weird. Is there two people? Well, me? George, I don't want to. I don't want to waste any more time. But I do appreciate you answering my questions and giving me some readings on this K2. And I hope that you rest and rest peacefully and and enjoy the holidays. I feel like he wants us to ask him something. Is there another question that you want us to ask? Or do you want us to? Or do you want us to leave you alone for the rest of the day? If you want us to leave you alone for the rest of the day, spike it all the way up to this one right here. Go right. red if you want us to leave. Stay orange if you want us to ask he more questions. Want us to leave. Is this staying on yellow and orange? He just went orange. He just wants us. He wants us to stay. In. All right, George. Well, we're gonna actually get going. Was he? Was he a? Are you sure? Was he a? He was a Confederate? Yes. A pro were you a pr Confederate soldier? And you were a private, correct? You were part of the it's Georgia whoa, Regiment? Whoa! This is on... Oh, were, or were you part of the Tennessee? Because on your on your tombstone it says Vols Infantry CSI. Is that... Or CSA. Does that mean that you're part of the Tennessee Regiment? Or the Georgia Regiment? Whoa! It's going Georgia. creepy. It's really creepy. I know, because I think Georgia's right there. And I think okay. It just said well, George, I'm, I thank you for your time and you, and you answering these questions. And um, I, I'll... I, He's here right now, too. Touch me. If you're here right now, give us a sign by touching either myself or my wife. Give me a high five, please. Give me a high five. Make my arm go down. It's getting lower on the reading. Really? Yeah. Lower? Yeah. He went away? All right, George. Well, you have a great day, sir. And Merry I appreciate it. Merry Christmas. And we, uh, we, appreciate, we, Aww, were, we yes, appreciate your service. That was sweet. So glad you that ginger. Ginger face. There's, there's no way of getting...
my ball. Me. I'm gonna hold it. You gotta turn it back on. Press the button. I there's no I way. Can. There's no way to get down there because that side's locked. We gotta walk all the way back down there. Can I go do this on that that lady in black? Actually, so, that's Mary, not Lucy. Mary. I know. That's why I said there. Mary. Lucy is the one that walked around in Atlanta with the with the black on. Yeah. Her there's no. Right. There's no way of getting down. There's locked over there, so we can check that gate. But more than likely, it's locked. You know. Yeah. All right, you this guys want to? You guys want to start it. heading back over? Here. I know, I heard it. Don't leave it. Don't even make it. Come back to orange. It's just with the green. It feels like a dog. Oh, it's alright. Oh, it's alright. It's alright. Come on, puppy. I know he's got a strong reading right there. What's up, Kins? Um, I. Huh? Um, I just saw something. I saw something. You saw something? Yes. All right, you guys. So that is going to conclude my tour of the Confederate Cemetery here in Marietta. Um, it was actually kind of interesting to not only see the, the burials of the men that gave the ultimate sacrifice, but it was also pretty neat to actually use the K2 meter and was able to get some readings um, at one of the graves. Um, so that was actually pretty interesting. Um, and it's always interesting to see that information um, because you never know what you're going to get when you come here. Um, but actually, I just located something. Hey, babe, there's a slave lot. All right, so before we end this video, we're going to take a tour of the slave lot. Um, and see what we got going on in this location. Um, so stay tuned for that part as well. And I hope that you guys are enjoying this video. See, babe? Right there. Slave lot. Take your K2 meter. Um, Hey, this was a famous guy from, or was friends with somebody from the University of Georgia. Chris, that George saw that me and Mama were cute. Hey, that's... Here we are at the, there's another part over there is actually the slave lot. So that's um, always interesting to kind of see what's going goes on um, right here. Um, it's another interesting thing. Um, this whole cemetery just got so much history, um, so much different kind of vibes. Um, with it being an old hist historical cemetery for the city of, Ma of Marietta. So 
Um, right, like right here, you got William Root, uh, who was a beloved merchant um, back in the day. So that was actually pretty interesting stuff. Um, so it's there is there's this grave right there, George Root. So that's actually pretty cool. What do we got right here? That's... Hey, babe. Yeah. Anything interesting in the uh, slave lot? Did you see a lot of uh, cemetery or graves? I know, I know that this was like the slave lot. I'm not well, Ask them questions about their slaves, and slavery or the people that own them, baby. You got, with that part, you're gonna have to try to, in, in, you're gonna have to like interrogate the, or like instigate them, you know what I'm saying? Did you guys fight in the Confederate Sea Army? Are we guys part of the Union? Yeah, I would. Yeah. What? We got what bad readings on the last one. Yeah. Baby, I'm gonna start heading, getting ready to head to the car. Well, who's that? I don't know. The bank's called something. I can't tell the name. Let's take the dog and see. Babe. Babe. What? Plane up in the air. That's one of those things I thought they used to work on. Look at that. Hey, babe, they got a place over here. Can we go to it? What is it? It's a plane museum. How much is it to get in, though? I think I gotta get to the car. I'm getting jitter. I gotta get some chips. I know. I'm gonna see you when I'm pulling over. All right, you guys, let's go. Bye, Lord. 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 Bye, all right, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and start gathering our things and heading back. Um, we are actually not really heading back. We're going to go look at other things in Kennesaw. Uh, and also tonight, we're going to go and see some Christmas lights uh, at Life College, or Life University. So stay tuned for that as well. And remember, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I love you guys.